hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i know i've been gone for a while 10 months since my last video but i'm going to be active again i feel like i'm in that right space in the right environment to start making videos again and there will be lots coming now in this video i want to talk about what's happened since i want to discuss particularly how i've transitioned from working as an econ economist and now i'm working as a banker so i want to take you guys through my journey and first of all talk about how i first got my role as an economist and what i've done to get to where i am now so i work as a treasury manager for a tier one bank currently and i've been in this role just less than a year and i'm loving it i feel like everything i've been doing it makes sense that this is where i am now at at my um, in my career so i feel like this role is definitely perfect for me and yeah i just want to talk about that a little just a quick quick run through of my educational background so i started off with um a levels in maths chemistry econo so i did as levels in maths chemistry economics and biology then in for um, my a levels i dropped um biology and did maths chemistry and economics i passed my um, a levels then went on to study economics at um, northampton and then decided to um, pursue further study and studied masters in finance ec and econometrics at queen mary university which by the way was a very very difficult <laughs> masters very very difficult period of my life so after i finished that i in the same year so I, I think i finished around the summer of 2019 and in that same year i got a job as an economist i think i started in september october i started my um, first role as a graduate economist um in an engineering company now how did i get this role well while i was doing my masters i was actually applying for jobs I realized that when I, f I know that it could be quite difficult to um, find jobs, graduate jobs, you know, after, you know, right after university. So I started looking early. So I started looking from like January of 2019 and I got a role in, I think actually I started looking from like the year before, like the winter of the year before. So end of 2018, beginning of 2019, I started looking for graduate jobs. I was applying for um, economist roles, accounting roles. I was applying for internships. I was applying for entry level roles. Like I was applying for it all guys. Cause I did not want to be that person that, you know, had to get maybe a, a role as an reception. And not, there's nothing wrong with those roles, but I just know that that is not what I'm going to do. Like bar work, um, because I particularly was not good at it. I was just, I don't know why, but I wasn't good with those roles. And I just wanted to just work in corporate immediately. So that was my mindset. So first, like, I feel like my mindset really helped me. So I was very determined. I kept applying, applying, applying. So um, I got an interview for a graduate economist role. Now I applied for that economist role online on the actual website. So I think I found the role on LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is a really, 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 if you don't have LinkedIn, I don't know what you're doing. You need to do it again. Like you need to sign up and make a LinkedIn account. Anyway, I looked through LinkedIn and I saw this graduate economist role, um, which obviously was looking for recent graduate, good with Excel, like, you know, basic, all your basic um, requirements. And then I applied for it and it took me to the company's website. And then I applied for the role, submit my CV, my cover letter was extremely detailed um i really did some a lot of research i even went as far as speaking to someone from that works at the company and you know asked for advice i actually ended up meeting with them one-on-one -on -one to just so just so they can really help me with my um my cover letter and also with the you know just to give me some tips during the interview and you know the following stages so i applied at, i can't lie it was a really good cover letter and then i think in the application form it says you can submit any other things that can help your application i believe i submitted like a piece of work like one of my university essays as part of my application i believe so but anyway fast forward i got i, I passed the um the initial stage and then it went on to it was a test so i had to do like an excel test and a um essay and it was those tests where you take home and then you know you do it at home and then you they have you have a deadline to submit it and you submit it via emails. I, I like I really took my time, make sure I 
I, like it what I was doing was was quality I think my cover letter really stood out because you know when I had a face-to-face -face interview they really um, spoke about my cover le letter and my cover letter showed that I did a lot of research on the company and what I found um, what I did that was really useful in my cover letter was that I said what was good about the company like what was what was the what does the company value i think anytime you're applying for a company try and find out their values and really talk about that and i think you can't really appreciate what's important to that company unless you speak to the employees so i think i conveyed that really well in the cover letter and the cover letter they're trying to also um see your writing skills as well so really treat the cover letter like it's like an essay as well i think they felt my passion through that cover letter so then i went to um i went for a face-to-face -face interview and to be honest i did not get the role but i was like a runner-up they said that they really liked me that a position opened up in the birmingham office and um i got the role there and moved to birmingham for the role now that's another tip guys don't think here yeah, your role is only in london i was very i was very determined to get a role that i didn't mind moving out of london to get my first role because it doesn't really matter at the end of the day when you start off in your career early in your career you want to get experience that's the main thing you want to gain experience you want to gain skills later on you can end up moving anyway you can end up moving back to london which is where my current role is now anyway it's in london so don't think you know this is forever like oh my gosh i don't want to move out of london no you need to be free like ge geography wasn't a boundary for me like i was happy as long as i got my corporate role and i know i could afford um where i would be staying i stayed in a house shares which which was sensible i was able to still save a good amount every month so and my graduate salary at the time was 27k at that time i was definitely very comfortable with that and i was also able to pay my rent as well so i would definitely encourage people to do this after working as an economist i decided that actually i want to go into finance i thought that the role the role wasn't exactly what i thought it would be it was good there were economic principles but i realized that i do really like finance and i want to be looking at a balance sheet i want to know how you um you know value your company i want to do a lot of forecasting which i was doing the role but i wanted to do i wanted it to be more finance related whereas i I felt it was very economic focused and then on top of that the industry I was working in I was working in the transport industry so there wasn't that opportunity to really you know understand finance like maybe the stock market or uh, mortgages and which is what I really like to this like these are things I like to learn more more about so I, re I realized that actually this isn't for me so after a year and six months um, in my graduate role I left the role and pursued a role as a funding analyst and it was a graduate role i was working for a mortgage lender so it's still financial services but um, a mortgage lender and i've been working in that space so in the funding treasury capital market space since leaving my economist role after like working within financial services for like three years a recruiter um, approached me for a role in banking they saw my um linkedin and approached me for the run thought I would be a great fit and that's how I was able to get into this current role if you guys want to know the process of me getting into the bank like getting my banking job um I can do another video on that because I really don't want this video to be so long I feel like what's really helped me get to where I am is that I've just been extremely determined I haven't let geography be a barrier for me because like I said my first role was in Birmingham my first finance role after leaving my econ economist job was in Hertfordshire I did I was there for eight months then I moved on to a different role as a treasury analyst in London and then was able to find a remote role after and now I'm in banking being flexible in terms of location has really really helped me like I said, you won't, you won't need to be in that role forever. Also, what's really helps me is that anytime I'm in a role, everything I'm learning, I put it on my CV, I update my LinkedIn profile. So recruiters can see the live, the skills and experience that you have. And I feel like that's what's really helped me also increase my salary a lot. Because after I left my economist role and I did my, I started my first finance role, I was only eight months into my role when a recruiter rec um, recruited me for um, the treasury analyst job in London and it was a big jump. Yeah, it was a 15k pay rise, mainly because of my experience, my eight months experience in my finance role. 
and hence why I was able to get a 15k pay rise because I was updating my LinkedIn because if I never updated my LinkedIn they wouldn't they wouldn't know I had finance experience now so always keep your LinkedIn updated anything you're doing in work at work always write it down keep a note keep a record of everything so then you can go back and in interviews be able to explain clearly and in detail things you've been working on and skills that you have fast forward now i'm in a banking job and i'm enjoying it so far my career has been is, i feel like it's been crazy but i've been really really grateful i feel like I've, I've learned a lot i feel like i'm definitely in a place where i'm definitely being challenged i feel like this my current role is my most is the most challenging role i've I've had which, which is good it does help develop you a lot and it, I feel like it will help me be able to move on to that next stage to become a manager to become head of a department um so I am definitely grateful for the experience and I'm going to keep um sharing it with you guys so yeah let me know if you guys have any questions down below I'm very very active now I'm going to be put, putting out more videos so let me know what you guys want to see and any questions you have thank you bye